everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm back to sit down and share with you what we have got little florence for christmas this year so florence is one she'll be two in march and i'm not gonna lie i found it very hard to do her christmas presents this year just simply because we have an older girl and i kept everything that was peas so things that I could be looking at getting for Florence. Obviously the age gap is a, is a big thing as well. So I've got four years, four months between both of my children. And things that I would be looking at getting Florence for Christmas and birthday coming up, I've already got it and it's not being used with pea. So I don't need two of everything. For example, a micro scooter is like a main Christmas present or a birthday present or a scuttle. Are they called a scuttle bug? The little like trike things. I don't need to buy any of that because we've already got it. So it's been tricky. She hasn't got too much. So there's a man jumping in a bin. <laughs> He's cutting my neighbor's head. Um, yeah i've got i've got a few new bits some of it is second hand from p and i don't really see the point on rebuying it for the sake of it being in a box so first couple of things are some clothing items these were from primark i love these jumpers so much the three pounds baby jumpers are amazing so i've got this in the next size up she's currently in the 18 to 24 so this will be perfect for the other side of christmas sort of when it's still like cold. I always find it gets colder in like January and February than it is Christmas time. So we've got this blue and gold print jumper. Like I said, these are three pounds, so inexpensive. Florence doesn't really need any clothes, but I love putting her in these in, at the moment as opposed to like a top and a cardigan. She, she takes the cardigans off. P never did that. I'd put her in clothes and she'd wear it. Whereas Florence takes her clothes off. So jumpers, she can't take off at the moment. So she's got that one. And then I got her this one. I don't know whether it's autumnal or spring-like, but I just really liked it. So again, 24 to 36 months, three pounds. And it's this, like a taupe color with like foliage print. And again, I just thought that was really cute. And that's literally all I've got for her for clothing. She doesn't need anything. I've got an outlet of Next in my attic left over from P. I need nothing. So two little clothing items. And then obviously she'll get like Christmas jars and everything in the Christmas Eve box. A £10 voucher. Yeah. From... I don't know why I had a £10 voucher for Jojo. So I literally never shop in there. So this only cost me £4.99 and it's just something that we don't have. At the time when I got it, I did think that the cars moved because Florence loves cars, but it doesn't, which is fine. It's still like an educational toy. It's quite small, which I like. It's wooden. We don't really have many wooden toys anymore. And it's just a Melissa and Doug stack and count parking garage. So you've got like the colour of the cars that correspond with this. This is like an educational toy, bit of fun. I know P will enjoy playing this with her as well. So I wouldn't have paid 15 pounds for it, but 4.99 is perfect. Nothing second hand. Sorry, this video has no structure, but nothing in my life has structure at the moment. <laughs> is this. Does anyone remember this? Do you have this for your child, children? I don't know what it's called, but you get the, the, what is this called? The cake, the stacking cake. You get the teapot and then you get the two cups. Don't think it came with spoons. It's Fisher Price. I want to say it's like time, time for tea, time to talk with tea or something. I think it was one of my brother-in-laws that got this for pee. All these songs are just burned into my brain. Let's count to three. Counting cakes is so much fun. One for you, one for me, one for a friend. Turn you off because I will listen to you non-stop after Christmas. So we've got that again, I think brand new. They're like £15 and I don't need to spend that. So I'm probably just going to put it in an Amazon box and then just wrap it up. 
I'll actually get one out of the recycling. I've just put one in there. So that's that for her. She, she just loves the plastic tat, which is fine. This I got, was I pregnant? Or was she a newborn? I got it last year. And I think this was something ridiculous. I got it in bags. And I think it was like 2 .99. It was so inexpensive. And it's just a fold up house with a moon and me figure. We have got a couple more of these moon and me figures. But it's just a little bit of fun. It's like a little house. It's got a movable stair thing. But obviously it's all in the box. Take and go toy house. 18 months plus. I mean, I don't really care what she puts in it. She'll probably put Sylvanians or something in it because she loves Sylvanians. Uh, but yeah, I've got that for her as well. Very inex inexpensive Christmas presents this year. Speaking of bargs and inexpensive Christmas presents, I'm not sure on the, the upload schedule where the peas will go first, probably, and then this one. So you would have seen these in peas haul. Ritzy rollers, probably not appropriate for a almost two year old because these things are choking hazards but Florence doesn't put anything in her mouth as it stands I'm going to see how she gets on with peas and then let her open her own if not I'll just take the gems out and she can just have the movable figures and pea can have the gems so Florence has got is this a dog not really sure so she's got the dog and you basically put these gems in the wheels you see that they pop in there and then there's a little boot and then she's got a fuzzy cow which i thought she would really enjoy and again same sort of concept these are 79p each from home bargains so again could be a stocking filler but i've just put it as the main christmas present under the tree what else have we got another second hand thing from p were these animals I got these from Sano's probably like five years ago now and I've, I've still got them for Florence. They're perfect, they're pretty much brand new. P used to like these all the time so it's just a nice little thing to have underneath the tree. I think you can still get these in Argos. Back when the Sano's toy sale used to be good, I, I remember I paid a fiver for these because they used to be £10 and now they're just priced at £10. Um, but you just get 50 piece farm sets of just loads of animals starting to introduce that educational thing and sounds and noises and recognising animals. So, And it's all nice and contained in a little tub which I enjoy. So she's got those that was peas. A boring present, but a present that I know she would love, that would potentially turn into a weapon, is a umbrella. I had, I got this ages ago from Home Bargains. I think it was like one ninety nine. It was so cheap. Was this from Home Bargains? It might not have been. But either way, I got one for Florence, and I knew that P would lose her mind if she didn't receive an umbrella as well. So she's got this rainbow umbrella she's gonna love it she'll probably whack me in the shins with it too many times but she's got an umbrella for the school run because she doesn't like going in the pushchair now with the rain where she has to walk with her wellies and when it rains i can't be dealing with carrying her she weighs two stone with an umbrella it's just too much so i'm gonna let her have her own another second hand item hand me down from p is this monstrosity it's missing the sticker there was like a little yellow sticker there if I remember correctly. The pink leapfrog picnic basket set. She's going to bloody love this. So it opens up both sides. If you're watching this and you've got a first, like a, a first child to buy for, really recommend this plastic shit. They all love it. P will love playing with this still. It's just a classic. This, the little tea time set. Uh, what else have I got? The counting pig that I I think I gave to her last Christmas. She loves it. Just the, the cheap plastic stuff goes a really, really long way as opposed to the nice wooden toys. And I've learnt that over the years. So with this, you get the picnic basket. You get the two plates, two cups, two forks, and then you get an assortment of plastic food. And... Oh my god, it's all coming back to me now. This has literally been in the attic for like three years, if not more. A little demonstration. It's also a shape sorter. A shape sorter plate. So again, educational. And then the 
the lunchbox lady or the picnic basket lady she talks to you hang on shovel this back in there. the other toy that's plastic that she loves is a leapfrog toaster again she got that for christmas last year Can you find a circle? Things like that. So it is educational, it sings to you. And again, it all just lives in the picnic basket and I know she's gonna love that. So I think that this is like the last time we're gonna use this stuff, just blows my mind. Uh, what should I show you next? I have never been one for stuffed toys. Jelly cats, yes, but other stuffed toys, no. Florence loves dogs. I have no idea where it's come from. We don't have a dog. My dad has a dog. She just... Waffle, Bluey, uh, what else? What's the other one? Go Dog Go, Chip and Potato. She just fucking loves a dog. So, I've got her an assortment of dogs. Second hand one, with the label still on, is Buster the Boxer from John Lewis. This was a Christmas advert. I think it was 2016. It was with all the woodland animals and they were jumping on the trampoline for John Lewis. My dad works for John Lewis. So every year, if they do like a stuffed toy, we always receive it for Christmas. I forgot we had this. And it's the perfect present for Florence because she just loves dogs. He is perfect. He is brand new. I don't think P remembers who he is because obviously my dad bought it for, for P. So he is going to be for Florence and she's just going to lose her mind. If I knew I had that, I wouldn't have bought this. But it's just a bit of fun. It's a dog in a bag. Florence loves dogs, she loves bags, and she loves shoes. So this is right up her street. I can imagine this awful thing will come on the school run for with us. Glam Pets with a Z. It's a holographic bag. It's pink with handles. It opens up. This was from Home Bargains. This was $2.99, $3.99. Again, I got it back in the summer. And it's got this little golden lab retriever with sparkly eyes they also had ones in a purple bag or unicorns or something they had quite a lot and again it's just something that i know she will love wouldn't say that the dog will stay in the bag but she'll fill the bag up with shit and it will just go everywhere but i just know she's gonna love this so i got her that <clears throat> and then this little guy waffle is an interactive dog i got this last year in the boots you know the boot sale that I've been talking about, which was the best sale I have ever been to. The fact that like things got reduced, like Lego got reduced to a fiver and a Sylvanian family set for a fiver. Like it was the best sale ever and not that many people knew about it. And me and Ellie were one of the first ones in the door and we went to town. That sale, this is where Waffle came from. He, I think should have been 10 and I paid five. And this is just the perfect present for Florence. Hang on, where's the, where'd you push? Where'd you push? Where's your, where'd you talk? Where is it? Hang on. Press my paws. I will want to put that in the bin come New Year's Eve, I know I will. But Waffle, he's cute. And then the other stuffed toy, I think I explained the spiel in P's video, but I filmed that last week, so I can't remember. The children are buying each other Christmas presents this year. P is receiving one from Florence, and this is the one that P picks to give to Florence. I don't know whether this is a leopard, I don't know whether it's a cat. It's a beanie boo called Sophie. It's pink, it's colourful, it's got sparkly eyes. For some reason, P has started to get into Beanie Boos. I have no idea where it came from. She got one for her birthday, she got a TY Beanie Boos 
washi cushion. So we've got this little guy to go along with the stuffed toy stash. I don't want any more stuffed toys, that's enough. That's too many in my mind, but there we go. What else have we got? This was peas, but I never gave it to her. So I'm starting this stuff now. It's a stage and we'll be past it soon. I, I hate these things because they don't go back where they belong and they fall out. And I've got like a filing system where these go in like a little filing bag and they never stay in there. So we're just gonna start with the one. She's probably a bit young. Is she young for this? 18 months? Probably not. This is an OG Say Nose one. This is Grow and Play, which doesn't exist anymore. Can you see that? Can we see? Grow and play. <sighs> I'm still mourning the loss of Sainsbury's toys. Um, but yeah, I got this years ago. Probably like five years ago. And I think it cost me like £1.50. And I'm finally giving it to someone. Who would have thought back then it would have been another baby of mine? But there we go. We've got a vehicles puzzle sort of thing. Another thing that it could be interpreted as a weapon or a bit of fun is Ben and Holly's uh holly's magical waving wand this is what it looks like it lights up it's got a button i don't really know what it does i just know it makes noise and it's plastic and she will love it we got this for elliot for his third birthday is he three yeah he's three what yeah no second birthday I don't know how old Elliot is. Second. Third. I'm an awful friend. We got it for Elliot on his birthday in July. And I just knew that Florence would like it. So this was only a fiver in Argos clearance during the summer. So we got one of those. I think that's now like back to full price, like £12. But I got it cheap. Of course I did. We've got a couple of books again from the... Debenhams up to 70% off sale that I keep talking about. Don't really know why I got these. I just got roped in at the time. We we do not need these. We don't need them. But if I don't give them to her, it's just going to be a waste of money. So it's the Little Snail. Should have been 5 99 Then went down to 179 And it's one of these like finger puppet books. You see that? So it's just a nice story. Nice and colourful. So we've got one about the snail. Again, it's something that P would probably like to do with her. And this one, again, should have been £5.99, went down to £1.79. Caterpillar. So we've got that. To be fair, we don't have any books like it. That's probably why I got it. So we've got those two books. We've got an Osborne, that's not my unicorn one. This should have been $5.99, oh, $6.99, Jesus Christ. And I paid £2.09. So we don't have this one. We do not need this one because we own about 30. And does she read them? No. But it was just a good idea at the time. And some of these books will i be keeping for my future grandchildren in like 25 years time yes yes i will do i have issues yes and then i got a peppa pig flip flap pepper book should have been 7.99 and i paid 2.39 for it she started to like peppa pig it was only a, an amount of time that it would happen and she recognizes pepper she says peppa pig so it's just one of those flip flap books, matching the outfit and things like that, or mixing it. So there we go. Little pepper book for her. This is new, Playmobil 123. I think it's like a, is it called a shuttle? Like an airport shuttle? So it comes with this little movable car with luggage and some characters. I remember this went down on Amazon. I think it was, should have been like £13 and I paid six. I remember there was a deal on. So I've got that for her. She's gonna love it. Just putting stuff in it, wheeling it around. Like I said, she loves cars. 
just a bit of fun. She's got the, was it the stable farm thing that she got last year? And she still, she likes that. So we've got this, but again, sometimes they just, there's so many toys, they just don't know what to play with. So I'm gonna try and do like a massive purge before Christmas and get rid of, like there are some like baby, baby toys that Florence just doesn't need anymore that can go straight to charity because it's just it gets a bit too much and then they've got so much stuff they just play with for example coat hangers anyone else's children do that and then finally not finally i've got something in the garage that i'll show you that i got but we've got this again the boot sale that just saved my life for christmas number loving oven this should have been was it 25 or 20 and i paid 10 for it I haven't got room for this. I don't have room for it. I need to get rid of stuff to make room for all this stuff. To be fair, she doesn't even have that much, but she is only one, almost two. It's an interactive oven, something that P didn't have that I got for her. Oh. Okay, that's enough of you. I hate you already. So it's got a pizza with numbers, got a cupcake. Don't know if you've got anything else. Here we go, including 16 ingredients. Oven, four pizza slices, three slices of bread. Oh, it's all in the oven. Two cupcakes, a fried egg, frying pan, spatula, baking tray, and two plates. So for a tenner, did really well. Like I said, I don't need it, and I just need to make space, and my kids have got like 20 squares of Kallax full of shit. So this is fun. So, 10 pounds for that, bargain, absolute bargain. And then finally, I'll show you it in the garage. We got her a little rocking thing from home base. Can't remember how much it should have been. I literally only got it a month ago. I think it should have been like 15, 20 pounds. And I paid six for it from home base. It's a She's got the, the big durable plastic rocking horse, the purple thing, which is a little tykes thing, I think. And this is a two-ended one rocker. And she loves the horse, so I thought I'd upgrade her to the next one because she's getting a little bit big for it now. So we got her that, and I'll insert a clip so you can see what that looks like. Hey, this is very hard to see. Oh my God, it's so cold in the garage. But this is the rocker that we got from home base. You can see it's a dual ended one um, and then there's space for their feet either side. And I'll quickly show you whilst I'm outside that this is the purple one that I was talking about. Am I gonna get wet feet on the grass? That one, can you see that? So it's just an upgrade um, for both of them to play with in the garden. The poor girl doesn't need anything, so she's just getting some stuff, which I know she'll love, and she won't. She, she doesn't care, does she? Just the fact that she's going to be unwrapping things and having like a box, she would appreciate. So she'll love it. I just need to make room for it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how you find it buying for a same gendered second child. I didn't really understand the struggles. And if I'm being perfectly honest, all she wants to do is play with what P's got. So. I'm hoping they'll play together with this and hopefully she'll like it. The stuffed toys will be a win and little things like this are perfect. I didn't want to go too big because she doesn't need it. I think birthday next year for her second birthday and Christmas next year is going to be very Peppa Pig heavy. So wish me luck for that. I need to then clear out more stuff for that stuff. I just, I just don't have the room for it. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below. Is there anything that you have got that you think I should buy for my second child that I don't have for my first? It's a tricky one. We've got Duplo and everything. We've got that ready to go in the attic. Again, storage for that. How do, how do people manage storage for like kids that have, or families that have got like four kids 
Oh my goodness me, I do not know. Anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you all enjoyed it. Leave me your comments below. Let's have a chat in the comments. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.